amazing. He can end this very soon. Give Burton credit. He's coming back. 84 total punches for Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the second round. He outlanded Burton 39 to 10. One thing about Floyd, though, if you notice, Burton did catch him with a hook. He has to be careful with that chin up in the air like that. See, his chin is right up in the air to be hit when he throws punches. He has to be very careful when he's throwing his punches. But Burton is a bigger man. Mayweather effective on the ropes, just firing quick one-twos, backing Burton up. Big right hand. Mayweather's favorite punch. Those punches are definitely going to slow down Burton if this fight goes beyond the fifth round. Because, I mean, he's getting hit with so many shots over and over again. The speed of Mayweather right now is just trying to break down Burton slowly. Mayweather carrying off now on the head of Emmanuel Burton. Okay, let's go. And Kevin, we talked about it in the first fight. And Landon Brewster maybe needed to change his approach. Emmanuel Burton camping out right in front of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not a smart idea. Now the big thing that Burton knew is that he couldn't outbox Floyd. He has to create a war situation. One thing about Floyd, Floyd is being very offensive here. Something he wasn't going to go over on this. Something he had criticized for with other fighters. And like I said, until you get hit by a guy like Goya Vargas or anybody else, you really can't judge why a man should move or stay. The 23-year-old champion saying Russ, what Russ? Mayweather firing off several punches through three rounds, totally dominating Emmanuel Burton. When he's against the rope, he reminds me so much of, of uh, Roger Mayweather with his defensive style and his boxing style. So much. I mean, it's incredible. It's uncanny. The way he looks like his uncle. Mayweather catching Burton with the right hand. The cut now on Burton's nose. Opened up a little more. Mayweather, look at the leverage. Look at his legs. Look at the plant. And then unload. Burton continues to stand in front of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not the best of ideas. Trying to slug back. Winning a slug test for Emmanuel Burton is something I'm not sure can happen. The stare down now. Both these fighters like a little showboating with their gloves. Hey, bring it on, as they say. Here's Floyd Mayweather Jr. We've seen this time and time again in this fight, Kevin. Mayweather unleashing. Oh, yeah, he unleashes, but one thing, like I said, there he gets hit with an overhand right. He still has to be careful. He's got to remember that he is in here with a fighter. He's not with a punching bag. So he has to be careful at all times. If he attacks straight, I'll be careful. Emmanuel Burton with 42 total fights. Been fighting now for just over six years. He's never had a layoff longer than six months. And in those 16 losses, he's only been knocked out twice. And I tell you, he's encouraged tonight, tonight not to be knocked out. And I tell you, you know, he's very motivated. He knows this is a lifetime opportunity, a chance of a lifetime. He knows that tonight he has to do something special to capture the luster. He will not win the title, but maybe he'll get the luster. Chris, short right hand from Floyd Mayweather Jr with a second one. But Burton caught Mayweather with a left hook. So let me tell you, he's coming back also. So he's got his moments, but not as often as Mayweather's moments, but he does have his moments. Mayweather now. This is a tactic he likes to use as well. Stay up along the road. Off the back of his head. Allow himself to be hit, getting blocked, of course, but taking a breather. But he's landing good shots. He's landing uh, right now, right up the cut, over and over. He's working that nose over and over. And, uh, you know, the stuff that he's doing in the ring right now is, is definitely young and very crafty. And he looks a lot like Roger against those ropes. Even up against the ropes, 
you can see Mayweather plant his legs and get good leverage for his counterattack. You know, he's bleeding right now. Got a little cut above his left eye. His nose is bleeding. Mayweather is breaking him up. His uncle keeps telling him in the corner over and over. Don't worry, just keep beating him up. Keep beating him up. Keep breaking down Burton. But you gotta give Burton credit. If he is breaking down, he hasn't shown any signs of that yet. And also, you gotta give Burton credit. He's taken an incredible amount of punishment. He hasn't even wobbled. He got hit with three right hands in a row. He got hit with left hook. He's getting hit with uppercut, and he's not even fucking. Step back, both of you. It appears that Bird is going to stick to his script to just stay in front of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Well, Floyd is staying right in front of Burton, to tell you the truth, too. So, actually, Burton is waiting for opportunities that he did. He just caught Mayweather with double left hook. He's catching Mayweather on the rope. I think that's a bad spot for Mayweather now. But Mayweather hardly looks hurt. Don't leave things to chance, friend. Don't leave things to chance. <laughs> Get out of the bucket. Green. Now the fire starts. Don't blow it. Don't blow your nose. Okay? How you feel, man? Water. All right, then. Let's get it going. Put your mouth up here, Happy. Okay? Hold that mouth, please. Okay? Don't blow it. Don't blow your nose. Don't blow your nose. That's good, okay? The fight here started now. Flat for the big good. Flat. He's tired. Flat. This is what you want. You want to get him tired. Listen, when he's sitting there on you like this, turn the right hook, right hook, left hook over, okay? Now you feel it. Okay. All right. Looking good, baby. Keep it up. You got to keep it up. Stand down. Stand down, coach. Hey, get him out, bro. He's tired. He's tired. Go. Now you're going to work, okay? okay? Kevin Emanuel, Burton's corner, was telling him, don't blow your nose, don't blow your nose. Is that because it will cause immediate swelling? Oh, you never blow your nose in a fight. Because you got a broken nose. They don't know the capillaries are severed. So if he blows his nose, his eyes are inflamed, and the fight will probably stop because his eyes are closed. So you never chance. do that. Mayweather not relying on a jab tonight. Of the 133 punches that have been landed, from Floyd Mayweather Jr., 113 have been all power shots. When you're talking to Julian, Julie said to me, she thinks his nose is probably broken. I guess because he's bleeding out of both nostrils. You know, it's not bleeding severe, severe, but it's bleeding enough that uh, the judges definitely are influenced by the blood, and the referee definitely is influenced. Short, crisp right hand from Floyd Mayweather Jr., and he catches Burton with a left cornet, and Burton plays as if He's not really hurt. He's not scared. Burton now showboating. I tell you, it, it, it's deceiving. I mean, Floyd must feel like, I mean, this guy, my best of Floyd, looks like a bloody nose now himself. I tell you that. So exactly, he's in a fight. Like you said, you might win this fight, but you don't know he's in a fight. Floyd Mayweather could be cut from his nose as well, or that could be blood. Oh, he's bleeding from both houses. Okay. Let's go. Like I said, the Let's one thing, back, he chose to be more offensive, but in that term, he suffered more punishment than he usually gets. You leave yourself susceptible by charging in. His nose is bleeding now. He's getting hit with shots. Like I said, he's not boxing, he's rolling. Mayweather now, sizing up. Burton in the corner, Burton quickly escapes, but Mayweather connects on a three-punch combination to the head. Mayweather working the nose of Emmanuel Burton. Okay, Mayweather's going to get shot here and there, not enough to win the round. But Burton's landing Burton punches, sometimes on, on Mayweather, because his defense with his head in the air, and they're going to come here, there he goes again. He's getting here with a light shot, and then he's big, but they're enough to cause the nose to bleed, and you look at his left eye, he has a little bit of swelling in the bucket. You're right, Kevin. Floyd Mayweather definitely cut from his nose. Mayweather rifles off four solid shots and comes back with a one-two. All to the head of Emmanuel Burton. 
Mayweather gets leverage on a right uppercut. Burton can't catch up with the quickness of Mayweather. Burton is taking tremendous shots. He's not moving his head. He's not ducking any punches. He's not blocking any punches. He's letting Mayweather hit him in the face and looking for the counter. That's all he's doing. Mayweather takes his brakes along the ropes. Burton keeps charging forward, but he's catching plenty of leather from Floyd Mayweather Jr.